we're going to take a delve into uh, painting our resin castings, our block castings that we have for our water tower, our sand house, and uh, our, our now uh, tower at Cranberry Yard. So we're going to go through the process we use to paint these uh, blocks and uh, the way we do it. There are other ways to do it, but this is just the way that I do it. It makes it a little simpler and easier to do. And if I do it the same way each time, it's going to be able, I'm going to be able to reproduce it each time I do it. So each kind of, each of the buildings that I have in the series will kind of look the same, like they came from the same quarry and the same stones. All right, the first thing we're going to talk about is how we prepare the uh, rock work that we're going to work on. So the first one I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at the one that we use for the water tank. Um, I'm going to show you what we did with this, just which is a little extra thing. If you look at the top of this, we have bored a hole all the way through top to bottom. And then I've also bored a hole right above the door, big enough for one of the shepherd's crook if I want to put the um, LED lights and shepherd crooks in this build, in, on the building. So this would be where the shepherd's crook and this would be my exit for my lights. So that's something extra you can do if you want to actually put the LED lights on these things. So the first thing we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our resin casting and I'm going to take a white paint, a flat white paint, could be a primer, could be just a flat white paint, and we're going to paint two good coats, the whole, the whole casting, top, bottom, we're going to basically prime it with the white. That gives me a base coat and I can work from this base coat and then we can go from there and do whatever we have to do. The next thing, I'm gonna mix up some ink and alcohol and I'll give you the formula so we can do this. It's very easy. This is 90% isopropyl alcohol. This is a one fluid ounce bottle and it's usually the paint bottles. If you've got an extra one laying around or, or a, a, a liquid cement bottle, they work great for measuring. And this is Higgins India permanent black ink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this bottle. We're going to put There we go. We finished that up. Now I'm going to take my Higgins ink and it has the if it has the uh, the little squeegee on it, you're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12. We're going to do 12 drops. That gives, that gives us our mixture for our ink and alcohol, which is going to be a little darker than we normally have. Shake it up really good. That's what I have here. I have a dark one, which is the same as this, and one that's a little lighter, which is probably eight drops of the, of the ink. Very simple. You can make them right up. Our next thing I want to do is I want to highlight all these cracks. All right, I want to, I want to make sure that these cracks are highlighted. Um, so what I'm going to do is take a number six paintbrush in my dark and I'm going to dip it right in here and I'm going to actually hit it to the crack, move it right along the crack and I'm going to accent this crack. It's going to take more than one application, but what I'm trying to do is just fill up those cracks. If you can see it, if it gets on the stone, don't worry about it, but try to keep it in the cracks. It's gonna, you can see as we do this, it's, it's accenting those stones. Each one of those stones is, is coming out really, really strong. All right, that's, this, is, this probably will take twice a round. Let it dry, put another coat on, put, go twice a round. Very simple. Nothing hard about this. I'm just kind of moving it around, make sure it's going in the, in the, in the cracks. You get some on the face of stone. All right, once not, you've got this not, all done, and this is just to start here. Once you got done, it's going to kind of look like this is the one from our sand house. But you can see here on this one that the lines are really, really dark. They look almost too dark. Um, but in the end, they won't look this dark. So our next step is we're going to color our stones. And we're trying to figure out how to way to color it. So the way we color it is, this is burnt sienna. This is orange sage, I think it's called. Um, and then we have red iron oxide. These are three colors that I use basically for my, my colors. 
Now I'm going to take a flat tip brush like that and I'm going to bring my light alcohol back in. So I have it here and what I'm going to do is this is my little uh, palette that I can use so I don't get too much. Like in, I can put a little here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing random stones and I'm going to really put it on. Don't worry if it slobbers over to the next brick. It's not a problem. We're not going to do all the bricks. We're going to just do random some of them here and there. And then we're going to move on to the darker color. Look kind of funny now, but we'll, we'll work it in here. We'll go to the lighter color. It doesn't matter if you mix the powders in together. It's not going to matter. If you slobber some on the door, it doesn't matter there either. Try not to do the lentil across the top. We're gonna to leave that as a gray. So, eh, that might be enough for the side. So what we've done is we put our things in, the colors are kind of brash. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna take some of this, and we're gonna wash it in. This is going to lighten up a little bit too, but what we're doing is we're washing some of the uh, some of the dark color stone into the cracks and and a little bit onto the next one. And what we're doing is we're kind of evening out these colors, very simply. This is not you can see how little time it takes to do this. The hardest time is just darkening the the uh, the lines between. So that's what you get with that. So that's, uh, that's your step here. You want to let that dry. If you need more, you want some of the lighter color of the stone to come out. Don't get too much. If you want to do your top cap stone in just this, this uh, ink and alcohol, that's good too. Make sure your bottoms are done. Um, and you want to let that dry. That takes a minute. In this weather right now, it takes a little longer because it's so hot. But it'll, take, it'll dry right up to a nice flat color. Um, you'll get these colors are all been softened. All right, we're gonna take white, plain old stock white. This happens to be acrylic paint. Um, no big deal. Um, cheapo stuff, it's it's uh, at, at stores, big box stores, all those things, you can buy them 50 cents a bottle. Take a little bit, scrub 90% of it off on a some kind of a palette, and we're gonna highlight some of the tops of the stones. That's gonna soften up even a little bit more. It's gonna bring out all the little highlights. I'm gonna get a little bit more here, scrub a little bit more off, and just highlight, 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 highlight. Don't go crazy, but just enough. If I had done this probably in the right order, I would have painted my door green, and I'll show you that on this side, and I would have done the same highlights, and you can see how we highlight the door here with a little bit of white, and then I'll go back over it with some ink and alcohol. So I would have done that same thing here, probably at the same time to make it a little quicker. All right, so the only thing that's le really left to do to, to color your stone, as I said, this is pretty quick, is I'm going to go with a, um, this is a green, but they call it a yellow orca. It's a dark green. Oh, this one's really, watch out. So I don't get that on your thing. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to take a little bit of the green, not much gonna knock it off and we're gonna do it along the bottom edge get a little bit more of the green in there I'm gonna put a little bit there and here and and then the last the last step is we're gonna go back to the dark brown and we're gonna do along the bottom just like this just a little bit bring it up here Looks like the dirt is splashed up, bottom of your door, bottom up your corners just a little bit. And that's basically all done. So this is not a long process, it's quite quick. So that's how I do my, my uh, stone. Um, if you get too much on your colors, as you're putting on your, your uh, ink and alcohol, you can wash it down with a little plane of the alcohol and take some of the color off if you want just by rubbing it. So that's an extra way to, to do it. 
So that's how we do it. And what you're going to end up with is here's one. You can see this wall. If he gets in close, you can see all the details we had just done. You can see where we have the colors. We have the dirt along the bottom. But the stones, the darker the stones, is accenting each stone. And that gives you all those in individual stones. And that's how I like to do it. So that's a really good, good sign. On that one, we have a, a coal bin right there. And that's why we have it so black on that particular side. So that's what I've done today. And if you uh, buy our kits, um, it's very simple. You come back to this uh, video later on and take a look before you do it. Um, as I said, if you pick a way to do it and you do it the same every way, every time, it'll come out exactly the way you want it. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.